I pay taxes here. It's my okay, family is I, my family is here. Don't get mad. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. <laughs> no, I I have left America because my, my success was in another country and my boyfriend mean? was in another country. And yeah, private dancer was the beginning of my success in England. And uh, basically Europe has been very supportive of my music. More than America. Yes. Yes, hugely. I'm as big as Madonna in Europe. I'm as big as in some places as the Rolling Stones. In Europe. In Europe. So you chose to live there, and you didn't choose England, though. That's where. Yes, I did. I went to England for a couple of years, and then I met um, a man, and I lived three years with him in his country in Germany. And then I bought a house in the meantime in the south of France, and I started to rebuild that. So I'm in and out of there. That's not a place where I can go often. Where's home? Zurich. Why Zurich? Because uh, my boyfriend was moved there to run the company, and I always wanted to go to Switzerland, and I was very happy. Is your boyfriend going to be your husband or it's permanent boyfriend? It's good like it is. You like it like it is? <laughs> yes. What company does he run? EMI. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone says that. Yeah, well, you could take 12 years off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Tina, he don't need you. Right? I mean, think about this. This has got to be love. Well, 10 years of it. This is no small time. This well, is not Ike, right? <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking yeah. of that, do you realize that Someone said this. Do you realize that you are a feminist hero in America? Heroine? Your wife just told me that. <laughs> no, do you realize that? I'm beginning to. You see, it wasn't something that I planned. I, I kind of see it as a gift because of the life I lived. It had a meaning. And I think that the meaning was all of what is happening now. I think that if I had not had the, if I had not given the story to the world, maybe my life would not be as it is, I believe. So, so you are aware or not Now aware? I'm becoming more and more aware. D going public with that story, was that difficult? Yes, because I had had a lot of violence. Houses burned, cars shot into the, the lowest that you can think of in terms of violence. And I didn't know what would happen at that point because it had kind of died down and the divorce was final. And, my life was a kind of getting back on the road, and I didn't know what would happen. I didn't know what kind of mess it would stir. So I, I had to really take a deep breath and make a decision. I felt somehow let getting it out, I guess it was instinct, that I felt that getting it out would be not suppressing it anymore, letting the world really know, because they were constantly talking to me about why I cannot separate it, and I could never tell the truth. Nobody really understood, and they still don't understand, but I think slowly now they're beginning to. Did the picture do it justice? Yes, I think in a way I, I would have liked for them to have had more truth. Um, but according to Disney, this, it's impossible that people would not have believed the truth. And I understand that. They would not have believed all you had to take. That's right. Yes. All right. Uh, if it's difficult to sum up, even take some time. Why did you stay? Ike was very good to me when I first started my career. I was in high school and um, started to sing weekends with him. And we were really close friends. We had a very fun life in some kind of way. The mistake was when some kind of way it became personal and wasn't my doing and actually I think he realizes that had it not become personal we would have possibly still been together today. Um, hmm, where was I? I lost my train of thought. You stayed because? Okay. Ike wanted very much to be a star but he was too shy to really sing the style of what he wanted. And in some kind of way, because I, I'm very loyal and because he was as good to me as he was, I promised him that I wouldn't leave him like some of the other people that he had written songs for. And then when the song was a hit, they left. This was a basic story that was a story of his life. So you were trapped by a promise? Yes. I cared as well. Hmm. And, that, and that lasted till when? Well, the first seven years, I realized that it re I wasn't appreciated. No matter that I was staying because I was paying a debt or being loyal or whatever, I, it was just, um, it was getting worse. And I realized that also wasn't really helping by staying there and going through all that I was going through. So I started to plan. So it actually, f 14 years in is when I was very close to making the decision. And so it was actually 16 years that I stayed with him. So it took a good three years to make up my mind. Was it an escape? 
singer Tina Turner, who sold classics and pop hits like The Best and What's Love Got to Do With It, made her a superstar, has died at the age of 83. Turner had suffered a number of health issues in recent years, including cancer, stroke, and kidney failure. She rose to fame alongside husband Ike in the 1960s with songs including Proud Mary and Live a Deep Mountain High. She divorced the abusive Ike in the 1978 and went on to find even greater success as a solo artist in the 1980s. Dubbed the queen of rock and roll, Tina Turner was famed for her raunchy and energetic stage performances and husky, powerful vocals. Her death was announced on her official Instagram page. With her music and her boundless passion for life, she enchanted millions of fans around the world and inspired the stars of tomorrow, the post said. Today we say goodbye to our dear friend who leaves us all her greatest work, her music. Tina Turner won eight Grammy Awards and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2021 as a solo artist, having first been inducted alongside E.K. Turner in 1991. Thank you so much for watching and may her soul rest in peace.